the Chennai Super Kings were once the IPL's measuring stick for consistency. Reaching the playoffs was just something that CSK always did. It was their thing till a woeful 2020 campaign disrupted that run and saw them finish a lowly seventh. And a performance of indifference and suffering from the Chennai Super Kings. Now barely any time has passed and we're already on to the next campaign. CSK's Mission 2021 will be getting back to throwing punches and keeping Mumbai Indians in their sights. Can they awaken the force and be successful again? After missing the playoffs for the first time in IPL history, a rejig of stops was needed. The Super Kings let go of experienced heads like Kedar Jadav, Harbhajan Singh, Murli Vijay and Piyush Chawla. With Shane Watson retiring, they brought in Robin Uthapa from the Rajasthan Royals to keep their top order options healthy. Krishna Pagotham and Moin Ali were hauled in via the auction to fire up their spin bowling all-round options. Their surprise pick was Chiteshwar Pujara, who will, after many years, trade in his whites for the Chennai Yellow. The former champions also went in for some uncapped buys in the form of K. Bhagat Varma, C. Hari Nushant and M. Harishankar Reddy. It's no coincidence that the one-time Suresh Raina missed the whole tournament, the Super Kings struggled to find their rhythm. But the Southpaw is back for Talai's army, giving CSK's top order its all-important spine. However, Raina could be a little rusty, having not played much cricket since the 2019 edition. But he is CSK's best batsman, and only Virat Kohli has scored more runs in Vivo IPL than him. As CSK's rather dull 2020 campaign showed the need for them to let go of some of its past, Sam Curran's performances showed that their future is still promising. The 22-year-old's energy and verve shone bright in an aging squad. He finished the last season with 13 wickets, highest for the Super Kings, and looked dangerous and X-Factor-ish each time he swung his bat. His strike rate though will be a cause for concern. Ruthraj Gaikwad finished last season with 350s, proving he should be the way forward for CSK's openers. Rana's return locks the number 3 spot, leaving the likes of Ambati Raidu, MS Dhoni and Ravindra Jadeja to beef up the middle order. Deepak Chahar and Lungi Ngiri are potent new ball operators, while Moin Ali, Sam Karan and Shardul Thakur neatly balance the side with their all-round tags. Waiting in the wings will be Dwayne Bravo, Krishna Pagotham and Robin Thapa, who are all reliable options. Successful sides don't stay down for too long and that's exactly what CSK will look to preach as the upcoming edition rolls in. It's also highly possible we could be watching MS Dhoni's last season in which he's calling the shots for CSK. He would want his swan song to end with a bang. With Rena's return in the squad, we can expect the Super Kings to reach the playoffs or at least be top contenders for a playoff spot but are unlikely to finish in the top two. The motivation to right the wrongs will be high, so expect CSK to come roaring back as they kick things off against the Delhi Capitals on April the 10th in Mumbai. Live action begins on Disney Plus Hotstar at 7.30pm Indian Standard Time. So make sure you tune in.